Thank you, Honorable Chairman, sir, for giving me the opportunity to speak on General Budget 2020-21. Let me begin by making the statement, sir, after the creation of uh, new state of Andhra Pradesh in 2014, eight, budget have, eight budgets have been uh, 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 put in by the central government. And even today, sir, the people of Andhra Pradesh are very, very disappointed, even after eight budgets, because they have been constantly looking with a lot of hope after every budget that the implementation of the AP Reorganization Act will be done in a proper way, but no sufficient allocation has been done, not even in this budget or the previous seven budgets that have been put in by the central government, sir. And most importantly, let me remind the House about the AP Reorganization Act and how it came into effect. In 2014, sir, and um, some of the members who were present in that uh, session also, they are there still also, they would, re they would remember that at that point of time, for the creation of new statehood for the state of uh, Telangana, when that happened, there were certain issues that cropped up between both the states. So the parliament, the members, they all sat here. They thought about what would be the best way to go forward. They created the state for Telangana. And whatever issues were there with the, uh, uh, with the new states of Telangana and Andhra Pradesh, they were all listed down. And proper assurances and provisions were made so that they would come out of all the uh, problems that arise due to bifurcation and that is how the AP Reorganization Act came into effect. Let that not deceive anyone here right now, sir, because every time we talk about AP Reorganization Act or the uh, implementation of these provisions, many of them keep saying that it is a state subject, why raise it in the parliament? But they should all remember that the whole AP Reorganization Act is an act of the parliament. The responsibility of implementation of the act lies with the central government. So if not central government, who is responsibility? Is it in implementing this act? That is why we constantly, let it be the budget, let it be any other topic that comes into effect. We always keep constantly talking about this uh, AP Reorganization Act because we are bent to do that. And previous two other speakers who spoke from Telangana and Andhra also, they have also mentioned this act. That is how important this act is. So I would like to reiterate all the problems that are there today also pending in terms of AP Reorganization Act, sir. One of the important ones is special category status. Last five years, before the elections, we have been constantly, relentlessly fighting for that. You have also seen we have been fighting inside the house, outside the house. We have done a lot of protests. We have come out of the NDA. We have demanded strongly for the special category status. We couldn't achieve it. And the YSRCP has made a promise, election promise, to the people of Andhra Pradesh. They believed in it. They gave them the mandate. They have won 22 MPs now today, sir. Even still, they have not achieved it. The demand is still there for the special category status. And now, I would like to remind the people from the uh, uh, honorable MPs from the YSRCP also that the people of Andhra Pradesh are very much disappointed with the way they are fighting for uh, special category status, sir. And definitely, definitely the way forward should be decided by the YSR Congress party MPs also because they have made an election promise that they are going to get it. The other, the other important aspect, sir, railway zone. The railway zone is an important matter, sir, which has been constantly demanded to the central government. And before the election, the Honorable uh, Railway Minister then and now also Piyush Goyalji, he came to Vishakhapatnam. He announced the railway zone also. He has given a name also, South Coast Railway Zone. But how many days have passed since that announcement, sir? Not a single rupee has been allocated for this. So what will people think? It is just to make a fool that they are being announcing this as an election promise. If there is any integrity, in announcing the announcement of railway zone, definitely there should have been a proper budget allocation for the start of this railway zone with its headquarters at Vishakhapatnam, sir, which we strongly demand now also that proper allocation should follow up whenever a minister or a prime minister or any, elector, any representative from the central government makes any proper promise, it has to be uh, uh, made in the budget allocation also. Another important demand, sir, back, BGRF funds, backward district Grant fund was also uh, mentioned in the AP Reorganization Act. Seven districts from Andhra Pradesh, Srikakulam, Vijayanagaram, Vishakhapatnam, and four in Rayal Sima, sir, Chittur, Karnul, Kadapa, and Anantapur. These were all recognized as backward districts. And we have demanded for uh, the rightful funds for the development of this. The central government has agreed on 50 per district for six years. This was a commitment they had made. And all other districts were in the backward regions across the country, they are all getting that money, sir. 
but I don't know for what reason, for three years the central government has released 1,050 crores, which is 350 per year for the state of Andhra Pradesh. For the next three years, nothing, not a single rupee has come for the state of Andhra Pradesh, sir. I come from that one of those backward districts, Srikakulam. I strongly demand on behalf of my people and on the basis of the AP Reorganization Act also, this backward fund should be released as soon as possible immediately by the central government. And there is a commitment for establishment of institutions also. I am IIT, because all these institutions were left with Hyderabad. We are a separate state right now. Not a single institution of national importance is there in the state of Andhra Pradesh. So a commitment has been made for the setup of these. And the former Chief Minister of Andhra Pradesh, Chandra Babu Naidu Garu, for setting up these institutions. Sir, please, sir, please give me some time, sir. Please. For, giving, uh, for setting up these institutions with a concept of decentralized development, he has distributed these institutions across the state of Andhra Pradesh. He has provided all support from the state government, giving the land, which is obviously out to the tune of 11,600 crores. And now what is the assurance the central government is giving, sir? Every budget you see, 5 crores, 10 crores, for these important institutions which need hundreds of crores for uh, fulfillment. Now six years have been gone by, sir. Four years the students are studying in some rented campuses without proper facilities. The central government should take proper necessary budget. They should be allocated and the completion of these institutions is also a very important aspect, sir. Polavaram. Polavaram, it is the impo it's a national project. It is the, uh, uh, the responsibility of the central government. They have to finish the project. The state government it is executing it. Funds are also pending, sir. 11,000 crores has been spent, 6,000 odd has been released, 5,000 odd is yet to come. And moreover, the central government is not saying anything about the R&R package, which is the most important thing. Unless that is cleared, the whole pack, Polavaram cannot happen, sir. So some statement has to be given regarding the R&R package also. And Vizag Chennai Industrial Corridor. The announcement has been made during the budget speech of Honorable Arun Jaitley ji, late uh, former uh, finance minister, Arun Jaitley ji. Announcement has been made then, and what is the statement now, sir? Actually, the bank which was supposed to implement this, ADB, Asian Development Bank, it has, ob uh, it has observed four different nodes, Vishakapatnam, Machili Patnam, Donukonda, and Chittur, and it has approved also. Whatever the uh, NICDIT, sir, National Industrial Corridor Development and Implementation, Implementation Trust, it has approved the uh, nodes also. Sir, two more minutes, I'll conclude. Two minutes, sir. Two minutes, I'll conclude. So, uh, this also they have... Uh, uh, done this, sir. But the uh, uh, Piyush Goelji has said in a reply in one of the questions that since the no, project no, you, is present, don't here, go for any explanation. Uh, kindly conclude with bullet points okay. of demands, please. Sir, I'll just conclude, sir. So this project is also pending. No proper uh, budget allocation has been done regarding this also. And a uh, couple of other things, sir. Narega funds. It's a central government scheme. Narega funds have been uh, given by the central government to the state government to be given to the uh, uh, contractors who have done the works under them, sir. It is still pending with the state government only. After constant pursuit with the state, uh, central government, the central government has said it has to be released, but the state government has not yet released. Because it is a central scheme, I request the central government to take responsibility. One more important point, sir, which you also will agree with, I'll just mention it, sir. The other important point is the 15th Finance Commission, which is sir, definitely the uh, central government has to take into account, sir. 15th Finance Commission is doing a lot of injustice to the southern states, including uh, Kerala also, sir. Andhra Pradesh in 14th Finance Commission, uh, if you see the difference between 14th and 15th, the devolution of funds, it is losing 6.63%. Telangana, 14.71%. Karnataka, 24.7%. And Kerala, sir, which is the highest, 23.81%. Because we are the performing states, we should be incentivized, sir. If we are performing well, if we are doing good on the SDGs, we have to be incentivized and given more proper this thing. Yes. But whereas, sir, one minute and I will conclude with this statement only, sir. If this continues in future also, when there is delimitation of seats, if this census 2011 is taken into account, we will lose on the parliament seats also. More seats will come from north, north of India and less from the south of India. Financially, we are losing. Politically, yes. we are losing the representation. If central government doesn't take this into account, there definitely will be a rebellion in the southern states of this country also, sir. So definitely they have to yes, treat sir, properly. Especially the devolution of funds and the 15th Finance Commission. 
If you yeah, backtrack, so all the chief city. ministers from southern states, all the chief ministers have recommended, sir, yes. these are not the right recommendations. But even then also, even then also, they didn't take that into account. It will have serious complications in future if not addressed. Yes, now only thank you. 15 thank you. finance thank you. commission problems should be addressed, sir. Yeah. And other than that, I'll just conclude, sir. Yeah. AP Reorganization Act is should the most important Final. issue, not yeah. just for Andhra. Also for Telangana, sir, lot of commitments and assurances Thank you. have not moved, OECG. not a single inch, you, no budgetary allocation has been done. So I request the central government. Sir, sir. Yes. 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 Please conclude with all yes, the Yes, yes, I am concluding, sir. This is the concluding statement I have written. Yeah. Sir, for the last five years when we were asking, the central government would say, 10 years time is there to fulfill. Now six years have gone by, sir. If you look at the implementation, please conclude 60 with percent should please. be done, whereas only 0 to 10 percent is done now. Please. So I request the central government to take the issue of implementation of the reorganization act seriously. Thank you. Give proper.